What is going on, beautiful people? It is Bet Slam with Sam coming at you with UFC Vegas 99 official betting card. Guys, I'm going to start off from the top of the bill. We have Michelle Pereira on the money line. The price is $2.30, which is plus $130 for American odds. And I'm going to put half a unit on that. For me, a unit is $100. A unit may be something different for you, which is why these are in unit numbers rather than dollar values. So that together, as a community, we can have the same ROI. The percentage, if you don't know, ROI is return on investment. It means that if you are betting with a $1,000 bankroll, $10 bankroll, we can all gain the same percentage value if we follow a unit macro. Units aside, let's kick into this. We got Kyla Phillips by KO Sub. $3.20 is the decimal odd for this one. 0.25 unit play. Charles Johnson money line. Look, Charles Johnson's at $1.45, and I think it's a bargain. I think this is a tailor-made matchup for him. It's the best fight he's had in a long time where it really caters towards his skill set. So I'm not only playing him one full unit on his money line value, but I'm going to sprinkle some of that 0.25 units on the KO at $9. Asu Elmabayev, money line, two full units, $1.55. I couldn't, couldn't believe the value on this. I thought he was going to be a much bigger favorite. I thought that the line would be driven, like drove, significantly further than this by the time of recording. This is Thursday night when I'm recording this. If this was a, any other well-named fighter, this line would not look like this. Asu Elmabayev is an incredible wrestler. And I think that he's going to find his spot here and find the spinach. The spinach? Find the finish. <laughs> That's why the second bet is a suit Elmer by, by KO or submission at $4.50. I'm putting half a unit on that. I think he's live for it. But as always, you know, this is a lighter weight class. That's why I got to keep the heftier bet on the money line. Then we have Jocelyn Edwards' money line. This is a fade. Her opponent, Tamaris Vidal, is trash, man. And she gave up due to a titty punch. I got to go with my girl, Jocelyn Edwards. I saw that she had some work done in with uh, Valentina Shevchenko recently for Valentina's last fight. So got to trust in the uh, the camp that she's in, getting good rounds in, and I think she can win this fight. That's why she's a heavy favorite, 0.25 units there. Now, speaking of not a heavy favorite, if we take Elise Reed and over 1.5 rounds in her fight, that is $1.86, and I think that is an absolute fucking bargain. We're almost getting coin flip odds on Elise Reed, who is a decade younger. That's why I'm also going to sprinkle 0.1 units on Elise Reed KO rounds two and three. And a lot of people might call me crazy. It's women in it's MMA. People don't get finished. 40 to 41 years old, Jessica Pena, and she lays on her back like a jiu-jitsu nerd. She didn't like the striking in her last fight. She's not going to like it in this one. That moves on to our parlays. Guys, i got two parlays. Prospect parlay, Asu Elmabayev, Kyler Phillips, Rob Bellis to Spain. There's a lot of chalk involved there. But at 241 odds, I think there's still value. That's why I'm throwing a whole fucking unit on there. I think that shit smacks. I think that shit smacks. And even though he is the heftiest favorite of the lot, I think the most dangerous bet on there is probably Robelis to Spain, but he's still fighting Austin Lane and dude's a tin can. So we got the long shot parlay. I am going to go a suit on my sub and Charles Johnson sub 37 to 1. We were close last week with our, with our long shot parlay. I can feel it this time. That's why I'm going a little bit larger. I'm going to put 0.25 units toward that. Guys, this isn't the biggest bet card of all time. Look, there's only like 10, 10 slots on here. What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 slots. There's not a ton of bets on the board. But that is because Brady Heastan pulled out. And I was going to have a few bets on Brady Heastan as well. He was going to be in the prospect parlay instead of Robelis to Spain. But unfortunately, he was pulled out of his fight and Cameron Smotherman stepped in. So that is why we are where we are. Now, if you did profit in either of the past two weeks, let me know in the comments because we're on a fucking heater, man. We have been just absolutely cashing checks left, right, and center, hitting bets, hitting props, hitting parlays, and I don't want that train to stop. Let's make some money this week. Thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you all at the cash counter.